welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am <clears throat> Tony Green, and today I'm going to be doing a 30 minute show for you. I'll be taking calls from callers. If you want to call in, it's 845 277 9131. I'll be answering questions, helping people connect with loved ones on the other side, and doing clearings, which are healings. So let's start the show off right away before the one minute mark. We're going to start with self-love, which I think is the most important thing we can have is self-love. Um, so we have unconditional self-love. I get a no. I'm going to start clearing that so that it uh, hopefully clears to a yes. But I believe when we have unconditional self-love, we accept all that this big, beautiful world has to offer us. Uh, pay raises, jobs that are in the highest and best alignment for us, um, and anything else, the best partners, the best everything. Now, let's not confuse self-love with arrogance. There are a lot of people that get a lot of things. Um, how do I say this? There are a lot of people out there that are uh, maybe arrogant and, and we can kind of see that, that see the arrogance. Arrogance is always a co competition, better than, less than, more than, um, where self-love is a an acceptance of the self. Like I accept who I am, how I am, why I am. I don't need to compete with anybody else. I don't care what they think about me. I don't care what they say about me. I Honestly, you can ask anyone I know. I don't. <laughs> say what you want to say. I don't care. <laughs> if my name's coming out of your mouth, I must mean something to you. I don't care. <laughs> if it's good, bad, or indifference, that's your perspective. Whatever. Um, but but self-love is when you are at that point where you know who you are, you're okay with who you are, and you're working on who you are. Not because it necessarily you're in competition with anyone, but because you want to be a better version of yourself. So the first clearing today is on self-love, releasing, letting go of, having the angels um, remove anything that is stopping or blocking you from self-love, unconditional self-love. Now, a lot of people uh, don't realize the more you love yourself unconditionally and in that healthy way, the more you are capable of loving others. And then that also puts you in that alignment where you will meet people and be in friendships and relationships with people who are also able to give unconditional self-love. And that does not mean that your relationships you have now are going to end. Some of them might. Some of them might. We can't always be, say, I want to be at a high vibing energy up here and then play with low vibing energy down here. It literally can make you physically sick to be around toxic people. Now, let me just do a PSA here. I'm not talking about you. Don't blow my phone up later. You know who you are. That was about you, but nothing else was. Every time I say something about toxic people or low energy or narcissism, I have one person that has been blocked that leaves me like tons of messages. Get on with your life. Okay, don't, don't call me. I'm not listening to your messages. I don't care what you have to say. You know why? Because I love myself. I don't need your approval. And that's exactly where we should all be, folks. Okay? So having said that, I'm going to say, when we are up here vibrationally, when we are up here with the love that we have for ourselves, we don't want to play with low vibing people. It, again, it can make us literally physically sick. Okay? It can make us uh, feel like we're getting a cold or a flu it can uh, make us feel like we're going into a state of sadness or even depression, okay? We want to stay. And even if these people act like they're happy and they're everything's going on in their life, 
there's a difference between the way you act and behave and where your frequency really is. You can feel a person. You can feel the truth about a person. I don't care what comes out of somebody's mouth. You can feel them. And you have to trust your feelings each and every single time. Okay? Having said that, I want to thank everybody checking in on the chats. I'm going to lean in for a second and say hi to everybody on the chat. And then I'm going to get to the callers. Again, if you want to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Let me see who's checking in. Hey, Em, it's wonderful to see you. Hi, um, Joshua. Hey, thank you so much. Um, uh, Yes, actually, uh, Joshua, I have talked with people who have passed right after they passed. As a matter of fact, during my mom's passing, I talked with her right after my baby uh, Bella, she was my puppy, um, passed. I saw her pop out of her body and we had this really amazing conversation too. So Joshua, I'm going to try to read uh, recently. Um, who recently departed, Joshua? Um, I, I can talk to people immediately after they pass. Um, that's my personal experience. I know we're all different. Okay. Uh, our rainbow bro. Hey, how are you? Um, M thank you so much for reaching out. Let's see. Uh, Okay, thank you everybody so much for reaching out. I'm going to go to my callers now. If you do want to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. And if you're watching on WSCS or Roku or any restreaming or any podcast and re-listening to this, I go live every Monday at noon. And if you want to watch it live, I'm on YouTube live. And then... Um, you can call in during the show, ask a question, or connect with a loved one on the other side. So we're going to go to 780. Um, 780, and anybody else calling in or um, that I call out your area code. When I call out your area code, please take me off a of speakerphone and please have an exact question or connection prepared. Okay, thank you, 780. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Hey, Tony SJ, calling from Canada. Hey, Jay, how are you today? Doing pretty good. It's Thanksgiving here, so I'm just in a Thanksgiving mood right here, so thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> how can I help you today? Yeah, my exact question is that um, uh, I'd like to ask my mom uh, if she can get some help on the other side to help with the job situation right now. They're going to have some rules coming up probably in the next two or three weeks, and i got to get prepared for it. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, Jay, I, first and foremost, I want to, to apologize. I know that um, this is not only in Canada, but all, all through the world where they are changing regulations, they're changing rules, they're really um, implementing some things that should not be implemented. What I'm going to say to you is, um, okay, here's a couple suggestions, not only for you, but for others that may be going through this. Um, ask your employer if you can become an independent contractor. If you're not an employee, they can't, they cannot mandate anything upon you. Second, um, look for, uh, I know this is a lot easier said than done, but this is just what's coming through. Look for a position, perhaps, that doesn't require that, okay? Third, the third thing, um, and, I, you know, it's very, very difficult for me to speak out on this because I have my own personal feelings, and I am I'm completely in alignment with the way that you feel about this, and most of my listeners feel about it. Um, you know, here's what I'm going to say. Before you worry about vaccinating 
me or anybody else. Let's chemically castrate certain people. But if it's unfair to chemically castrate somebody who violates a child, then don't try to put a vaccine in me. That's, I mean, just like, for example, right? <laughs> Am I wrong, folks? Am I wrong? <laughs> I don't think I'm wrong. Um, but they won't chemically castrate somebody who's violating children. But, oh, but you, yeah, let's do this to you. Um, what, what I'm going to say, okay, so I'm just going to tap into your mom right now. And she is just saying, um, the upcoming months are going to be very difficult. Uh, stronghold, I hear stronghold, the word, the word stronghold. And for you, you should know what that means. Um, and then to hold out to the very last moment, there are going to be changes coming in. There are going to be um, changes implemented. All you can do is hold out for as long as you can and also try to figure out what you can do possibly on your own um, that would be helpful also. Now, when she says on your own, I don't think she means um, on your own uh what I think she means is like a business opportunity that you could do on your own also, okay? Um, when, when it's meant to be, I believe businesses take off and it doesn't take a lot of prep. So uh, Jay, you sent me a beautiful meditation CD and package and you could just do that and put it online and see what starts to happen for you. I do believe that people are going to be seeking out a lot of alternative choices in the near future. Um, so that, and the other thing she wants to say is remember you're divinely protected. Remember that you're divinely protected. And also if you are allergic to eggs and proteins, Chances are you cannot get the shot. And I hope you understand what I mean by that. I hope you understand exactly what I'm saying by that. If you're allergic to that, because that's the first thing they ask when they go to give you any vax is, are you allergic to A, B, or C? Yep, I am. I sure am. And I, I honestly, I am. I am. I miss bacon and eggs. I, I do. I miss bacon and eggs so much. Um, but... <laughs> I really, really do. Um, but what I would say to you is look into that and see what you can find on that front and then start putting your own things out there and see what you find with that. Also, how you can be of service to others through the gifts that you can provide to them. Okay, Jay? All righty. Thanks for your courage speaking out. Uh, look forward to... Uh more conversations to you. So I'm grateful for the wisdom and everybody else on the line. So thank oh. you. We're in a really interesting time. Yeah, it is. It's it's going to get um, a bit more interesting before it's less interesting. By the way, for those of you who are not yeah. aware, Norway has downgraded C-19 to the equivalence of the flu. Can we all get back to our lives now? And if and, and don't, yeah. don't blast me, yeah. folks. Do not blast me. Do the research. Do the research. Look it up. Look it up. It's all over everything. So thank you, Norway. Thank you. And so did, I believe, Brazil did also, and a couple of other countries have said this is this is basically what it is. They don't have a political agenda going on there. So that's good. Good to see them stepping out and being honest about it and putting it in that category now. So, okay, Jay. Always a pleasure to oh, speak yeah. with you. And until um, until next time, please be safe and and be a, a hold out for as long as you can. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I am going to go directly to the next caller, who is five five one five five one. How are you today? Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Jennifer. Yeah, hi. I'm in New Jersey. 
Okay, Jennifer, how can I love the way you are like ready, set, let's go. <laughs> how can I help you today? I'm ready. <laughs> okay, here's my quick question. Do you see me moving? I'm thinking of relocating. I want to know if you see that in the cards for me. <laughs> yes, I do. And here's what I'm going to tell you, Jennifer. Thank you for having your question ready and your energy so strong about your question. Jennifer, I'm going to tell you, I feel like you yeah. are relocating. And you're going to have the choice. Now, there might be two different relocations going on here. I feel like one of them, it might even be over state lines. I feel like you might be relocating someplace that is more in alignment with um, what you, I'm just hearing what you need at this time, where you need to be, what you need. I feel like if you, if you relocate over state lines, and this is not, I, I feel like you're going to be going south. Um, south, okay. south, possibly west, mm -hmm. southwest, um, which I, I, you know, I'm trying to, yeah, I, this is really, I should never, ever admit this. I took geography three times and never passed. So thank you. PS 21. Uh, um, okay. uh, so I'm trying to figure you out where it's coming soon. It's relocating I, like a year from now. Like how no, soon are we talking? I feel like, <laughs> yes, yes, I feel like one of your relocations is going to be much sooner than you think. I feel like one of your relocations okay. could be, now again, you have free will, you have free choice, you can do right. this when you are ready. I do feel like, however, one of your relocations is you're going to find out about it within the next couple of months. Now, when I say next couple of months, this could mean within three months, you decide that's it. I'm done. I'm out. I feel like okay. at the three month mark. Now we, we're, what month are we in? We're October, November. Yeah, definitely December. by 2022 though. Yep. By, yeah. I feel like by January, you are going to know where you okay. want to be or be where you want to be. Now that doesn't mean that your first move, you might relocate local and then your next move is across a state line. But I do feel like you want to get off. I feel like you want to, I kind of feel like there's a part of you that's contemplating getting out of the East coast. Is that accurate love? Um, I thought about it. I'm open minded to it. <laughs> okay. I feel like something's going to happen. And now, I need to say this. When I hear tomorrow, it doesn't literally mean tomorrow. It means it's coming in fast. You're going to get this fast. It's something that's right. going to happen very quickly. Okay. Um, I feel like, and I do hear tomorrow, something's coming in quickly that you're going to feel like, you know what? I need, I want a whole, I just want to start over someplace else. I just, I want to be. Yeah, that's so, what I need. And I feel like that you're not, I feel like something's going to click inside of you where you're like, if I start over here, like, let's just say in another neighborhood, that's not going to give me the start I want. That's not enough for me. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it, I feel like no. you're going to decide. And I feel like by, and again, this is free will and choice. You could you know, be having a really courageous moment and then go, what was I thinking? Um, but I feel like there's right, a possibility. I have, I'm a Libra, so. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's the possibility that by March, you could be either, okay. j j maybe by January, you, you are where you want to be or you know where you want to be. And by March, you could be settled into that place and I do feel like that place is south and I do feel like it's a little bit west I don't feel like you're going straight down I feel like you're going down and over and I do feel like you are going to um take very little with you you're not gonna care you're that just good. <laughs> yeah, I want to leave the negativity behind. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's what they're talking about, taking very little with you. I feel like everything, yep. you know, here's what I'm going to say. When certain, certain geographical areas have different energy. Now, the East Coast used to be, used to be this area that was very high energy, that was very, 
like vibrant and let's go and up all night. Well, the East right. Coast is no longer like that. That energy has been put to a no. kibosh. And it's a big fear. And and, and please <laughs> d don't, yes. don't get upset with me for saying this, folks, but they're, fear, they're fear mongering <laughs> on the East Coast. They're making everybody so afraid. Okay, fine. I feel like you and people on the East Coast are waiting like, okay, if we do the, you know, in most of, in the world too. It's not just the East Coast, don't get me wrong. Um, but I feel like you're going to be, you're like done and done and you're almost at your third done. Something's gonna happen soon that's gonna put you at that place where you're like, you know what, that's it, I'm out. And you're going to literally look up different, <laughs> Like I see you with a darts and a map, like going, okay, wherever this dart lands, I'm going there. Uh -huh. It has to be, uh -huh. but that's not how you're going to decide. You're just going to be like, any place has to be better than this at this point. I do uh -huh. feel like uh -huh. the final thing coming in is going to be either a, uh -huh. it's, it's somebody, okay, somebody in your life, I'm so sorry, and I don't like to say this on the air because, you know, for all the reasons we wouldn't want to say this on the air, um, you've had some problems recently with some people in your life, and there's a, yeah. okay, there's this song, um, is going down for real, darn it there is something about to go down in your life and I want to apologize I know I cannot sing please do not post that we are all very well aware of the fact I cannot sing okay um sorry for having to sing um uh and I hear the the poop is about to hit the fan so I feel like someone's about to come at you with something that's their problem that they just want to take out on you and I do feel like this might be a fan it, well, I feel like okay. it might be. I, a, it. I feel like it might be a family member, and I feel like you're gonna be saying to yourself, "I'm done. I'm out." And then you're gonna just make this yeah. decision because the only you might feel as though the way to separate yourself from this kind of drama and toxicity is to go to 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 put distance between it geographically distance between it because otherwise you're just gonna keep being enmeshed in this um turmoil is what i'm getting <sighs> so okay. i do feel like this could okay. happen as soon as january but it might push out to okay. march and again you have free will and you can decide when and how you want to make this change <sighs> okay Whew. that was that was good thank Sounds you good. <laughs> it was in my birthday my birthday was the nine. And I was like, not even happy about it. I was down. Oh. I'm like, I want to move. Nothing's working out. Sweet. So I'm happy I called you. And <laughs> you know what? We're on the same page about it. <laughs> I'm gonna. I thought maybe you would have said, stay where you are. No, no. <laughs> I, I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. Um, the things we're afraid. Yeah. The things that we are the most afraid of sometimes, or the most hesitant about, are sometimes the things we have to jump and do. We were put in this big beautiful world so that we could explore it so that we can create and co-create and we can be out there living and we want to be surrounded by people who are like-minded who who are out there living you, yeah and i don't have to feel guilty like i'm leaving people behind or anything no 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 no. you know what i mean like yeah. not everyone's been so nice so you I'm know moving what? On. <laughs> everybody has free will and choice you don't you're you're living your life for you they're living their life for them if at any point yeah, they, that's good. I don't have to account to anybody. You're yeah. not responsible for anybody else's feelings or emotions or anybody else's where uh -huh. they are, what they are, how they are. You just live your life. Now, we are all put here to live our life. If somebody wants to change their life, that's on them. They can go ahead. They can be 100% free to change their life. If you want to relocate that shouldn't disrupt anybody else's anything. You have to live for what's right, right for you. Okay, sweetie? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. I uh, Please keep me posted. I cannot wait to hear your updates. And thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to try to get 
one more person in. I'm going to 520520. How are you today? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank my you. pleasure. What's your I name? I'm trying to get into your show. You're very popular. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. What's your name and where are you calling from, love? Lisa, Arizona. Okay. And how can I help you today? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay, love. How can I help you? A bite of celery. I didn't know you were gonna get me. Thank you. Um <laughs> sorry, he's in the back of my throat. I'm sorry. Okay, it's so okay. This, um my boyfriend and I of twenty years, do you see us uh leaving a rough patch? He called me on Friday and said he was going to do something. I totally disagreed with it. It's upsetting me. It traumatized me almost. And I, he said, well, let's give it three days. I just got off the phone with him. He said, we'll talk about it. Do you think he'll change his mind? Um, oh, sweetie. Um, you know what? I And I should know better because the last caller I take always needs the most amount of time. So here's what I'm going to say to you. Um, here is exactly what I'm going to say to you. I, I When I ask, is he going to change his mind? I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. He's on the fence right now. I'm going to tell you right now, whatever he wants to do, he's stuck with it. He's on the yes of it. He doesn't see any downfall for this he doesn't see any okay. anything bad about his decision but oftentimes we don't now i do feel like eventually he is going to change his mind um it okay. might take a little bit of time for that to happen so please be I'm, I'm not going to say be patient. What I'm going to say is he, I do feel like there's a really good chance he's going to change his line, mind down the line. And this might be, it's not going to be in the two day period. It's not going to be. There's a push okay. and pull point between the two of you right now. Um, and one of the things okay. that I will say is instead of saying, you know, that's, that's a really bad idea. Uh, take a moment, take a breath, write down very thought provoking questions like, OK, let's talk about this and ask questions the way a counselor would like. OK, so have you thought about this aspect of that and how will that work out? Um, I feel like as of this moment, he's sticking to it and he's sticking to it strong. OK, in about I feel like and I don't know if a month is too long out for you, but I feel like in a month he's going to realize this may not have been the best idea. This may not have been the best plan. But the more you okay. stand your ground, the more he is yeah. going to stand his ground and want to be be you know, holding his ground. So what I would just simply say okay. is if you are going to discuss this with him, do it with open-ended questions that make him think about the long term of this decision or just say, okay, I support you. How are we going to work through this? Um, but in this moment, he's stuck in it. He's He's obligated to whatever that is. He doesn't see the downside of it. Um, so that is the answer that I have for you. And I want to thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful I was able to take your call thank and you. hopefully help you out a bit with that. Okay, we are almost at the 30 minute mark. I want to thank everybody who has called in, listened in, watched, or um, joined me on YouTube Live.